Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to make a Reuben corned beef casserole. First time I've made it. I love Reuben sandwiches, Reuben corned beef sandwiches with sauerkraut. Anyway, we're going to make it today and I hope you take, check it out. And let's go ahead, I'll give you the ingredients and just how we did it. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your local grocery store and buy some crescent rolls. Doesn't matter the brand, just any type of crescent rolls. After that, you're going to get some sauerkraut. We're going to take about a cup and a half of sauerkraut, and you're going to mix it with some Thousand Island dressing. That's easy to do. Just equal parts ketchup and mayo, and that'll make Thousand Island dressing. Mix that in with the sauerkraut. And it's going to look like this. Then you're going to take your crescent roll. You're going to cut half of it, roll it out, and you're going to lay it on the bottom of a greased pan and spread it around for the bottom so you have the bottom covered. And here, of course, is your meat. This is your corned beef, and you've got Swiss cheese. Next thing you're going to do is heat up your oven, 375 degrees, put the crescent dough bottom into the oven and bake that until it's golden brown, a light golden brown color. Take it out of the oven and go ahead and put your first layer of Swiss cheese down on the bottom. After the Swiss cheese, then take the thin slice of corned beef. Now that's, I've gone to the deli and I had them Give me a half a pound thinly sliced corned beef. That's what we have here, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Lay that on the bottom and just start layering it. Put a number of layers in that so it's nice and thick. And after the corned beef is laid into the pan, go ahead and put your sauerkraut mixture on top. You're going to spread that around. Now I put here one cup. That's why at the beginning I said a cup and a half, at least a cup and a half. And what I did is I took the sauerkraut and I rinsed it because sometimes sauerkraut is a little strong. You don't need to do that, but that's what I just did. We're going to lay that right across there. Should be a little more than I had right there. And I'm taking Swiss cheese. I'm just shredding it here. You don't need to do that. You can take your slices and lay it across. No problem. I, I ran out of the Swiss cheese slices. And so I have the Swiss cheese shredded. And then I took, I think I had a couple of slices left. I just cut them in strips like this, put that on there. After that, I'm going to put the other half of the crescent roll on there, and I'm going to tuck it into the sides, kind of press it up against the sides so it doesn't shrink up too much. And then you're ready to go. What you have to do next is we're going to be painting or brushing some egg white on the top. This is going to give it a nice golden color as well. After you do that, you're going to put it in the oven 375 degrees for about 25 minutes until it's golden brown and you're ready to go. Here it is. And let it rest for about five minutes until it cools down just a little bit and then go ahead and cut it. And here it is, ready to go, ready to serve with uh, extra Thousand Island dressing. Enjoy. Everybody, thank you for joining me today on the Reuben corned beef sauerkraut casserole. If you want to try it, go ahead. It was pretty good. I like it. And so hit the subscribe button 
and the like button if you will please i appreciate it. it does a lot to help my channel and i hope you watch me on the next video we have them coming on a regular basis so check me on the next one have a great day